Good day everyone, welcome to video tutorials. Today we'll continue on with the tutorial for modeling a tank. Specifically, we'll show you how to make use of the thread object and the thread path that was created previously to create multiple instances of thread object to form the track for the tank. Now, let's select the track object, then select motion tab, and scroll to Assign controller section. If it's not open, click on the plus sign. In this case, it's already open. Then select position. Click on assign controller. Select per path constraint. Then click OK. Then click on the thread. Next, let's scroll down. Click on add path. Then select the path called thread path. Next, let's scroll down a bit more. Ensure that the follow thread box is checked. Ensure that allow upside down is checked. Now we press right click one time to close, right click another time to prevent us from adding an animal path. Okay, and we also right click to select the left viewport. Press H to select by name, select thread path. Click select button to select thread path. Click and drag to move the thread path. Now click on the thread object, right click on the front viewport, press alternate W to uh, maximize current viewport, use the mouse wheel to scroll in, zoom in, press E to select rotate to, ensure angle snap is checked, click and drag to rotate the object 90 degrees, press W to select move to, press alternate W to go back to 4 viewports view, Right click on perspective view, zoom in using the mouse wheel, click on thread object, select modify panel, select plus and beside poly, select polygon, sorry, select border, click on the border, right click, select cap, click on border here, right click and select cap again to cap, make a cap around the border. Then click on add double poly. Next, we right click on any empty spot of the toolbar, select extras, click and drag to select snapshots, select range, select from will be 0, 2 will be 100, number of copies will be 80, clone method, select instance, then click OK. Okay, next we close this extras. Press H to select by name. Sele make sure thread objects are already selected. And then control click to select thread path. So now thread and thread path are selected. So click select object. Select button that is right click and select height selection. Now click and drag to select the thread objects here. Then we right click on left viewport, select mirror to the mirror button, select instance, select mirror axis of x, click and drag to change the offset value. Let's change the offset value to set it to minus 206 and click OK. Now let's click on Zoom Extends All. Let's zoom in a bit more using the mouse wheel. Then we click select from the drop down, selection set drop down box, select wheels, click yes. Let's click on the tank body, press alternate X to toggle off see through mode. Let's select the reference image ref underscore images selection set right click select height selection and there you have it that our tank model okay so thank you for listening